Executive Director of Women for Action, Managing Editor of Women for Action Magazine. This is a book response on Pearls, Politics, and Power by Madeline Coonan, former governor of Vermont and ambassador to Switzerland. So Pearls, Politics, and Power is a collection of interviews and advice from women leaders regarding their journey in politics. There's tons of tidbits for women and girls who are interested in a political career. It discusses the advancement of women in nations that we least expect and have a higher percentage of women in their legislative bodies than, than the United States. For example, women in the Rwanda parliament has the highest percentage than any place in the world. When this book was first published back in 2008, their numbers were standing at 49%. Today, it has risen to 64%. That's huge. Swiss women did not gain the right to vote until 1991, but the percentage of women in their parliament is greater than the US. Various nations have placed women as their heads of state and prime minister, while the United States, a leading democratic nation, lags severely behind, even though our women's movement came long before many others. Cooney claims that the perception of how a woman should be while holding public office is often misconstrued by women. Voters have an idea of how an ideal candidate should be, and they vote for familiar qualities. And this is a hindrance to potential women political leaders because these qualities are often in opposition of many women. Women make up the majority of the electorate, but they represent 27% in individual campaign contributions, party committees, and PACs. They give 30% to women candidates while men donate 17%. Women have an interest in women becoming political leaders, but they lag behind in funding political campaigns. This book is a must read for the women electorate. So for future women candidates and voters, put this on your must read list. Thank you for watching. Oh, <laughs>